Hey guys, Dave here with Funky Food with Dave. Paula. Hi. Jake is outside enjoying this gorgeous weather we're having here today. Um, it's a Monday, so it's our normal taste test Monday. Um, tonight I will be doing <coughs> my glasses. Those are yours. They're probably filthy. <laughs> tonight we are going to do another El Yucateco hot sauce chili habanero. A yucca taco. Uh, if you remember the first one I did of those, I did the XXX hot uh, sauce. I wasn't a big fan of it just because of the way too overpowering uh, vinegar. It was way too much vinegar for me. Um, but I had some people actually comment on the video and said they liked that sauce. <clears throat> that, that's great. Um, that's why I like this because you might like it. I might not like it. Um... Remember, if you like this video, please hit the like button, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Ding, ding, ding. Um, got anything to say, honey? No, I do not. I love you. Other than that, you. I love you. I mean, it's a gorgeous day. Um, the rest of this week is supposed to be, eh, okay. Next week is supposed to warm up really nice and rain. I know you don't want to hear rain, but at least with warm weather and rain, it's going to melt the snow. We should do a video so they can see uh, Vermont mud season. It's pretty. Oh, we'll go out on one of the back roads. It's pretty. I remember when Dave and I first started dating, I had a Honda Civic. Sweet little sporty looking thing. And we took it on a back road, if you remember. I swear to God, I thought the thing was going to get buried. There, people say there's five seasons in Vermont. you got spring, summer, winter, and fall. In between winter and spring, we have what they call mud season. And, and stick. Yes, yeah, stick season is in November. But uh, mud season is oh, it's usually nasty. late March to mid April ish, sometimes a little later. It's when our dirt roads decide to have five foot heaves in the middle of them, mud ruts, foot and a half, two feet deep, all through the road. You go drive on it, and the road will literally give out on a car, and they'll sink down to their frame. Yeah, it's not I a mean, good time. I mean, it is, and it's not, because yeah. we'll go mud. I mean, literally, some roads will look like a, a, a wave because yeah. of the frost heaves in them. It, 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 but you got to see it to, to understand, and yeah. there's some roads that get so nasty. I'm like, oh, my they God. They shut down a lot of roads this time of yeah. year because you, we have weight limits that are posted specifically for this time of year, but even with those, they'll shut it down for cars because you can't get through. Yeah. So it's an interesting season. And then come fall, we'll do the stick season video where it's just where all the leaves come off and there it looks like sticks. Dead. Still attractive. Everything dead. <laughs> um, so, yes. So, again, today is the El Yucateco or Yucateco hot sauce chili habanero. Um, Let's see if they got anything. Salsa picante verde, green hot sauce. Uh, let's see. Imported and distributed by Padilla Import Sales and Marketing out of Eagle Pass, Texas. Keep it a fresh, dry place. Uh, you can look them up at www.lyucateco.com. I'll just show you that. So it's just www. Hold on, babe. I, for some reason. If Get it's it. not, yeah, could it, yeah. You look them up at that address. Um, let's see, ingredients. Water, habanero peppers, salt, a pH control agent, acidic acid, kind of like a vinegar, spices, stabilizer, acidifier, another citric acid, which is acidifier, then in parentheses, citric acid, dried onion powder, sodium benzonite as preservative, and FD and FD and C yellow five and FD and C blue number one product of Mexico. Whew, there's a lot of preservatives in there. So that means it's going to be, it'll be a vinegar forward sauce. It's actually kind of a cool little green color. Let's see if you can see that at all. Mm -hmm. I know uh, I've seen people do reviews of this online on YouTube, and some people absolutely love the sauce. I, <clears throat> when I get a sauce and go to taste it, I'm hoping I love that sauce. I love hot sauce. I love spicy sauces. I love hot sauces. <laughs> I love good spicy barbecue sauce. So when I get a sauce, I'm hoping it's a good sauce. I don't go in and going, oh, shit, it's going to be a crappy sauce. Tell me what you think. 
Typewriter. No, that goes left to right, right? Mm hmm. I tell him I'm like the ASDF JKL semi. If anybody that got taught how to it type, it doesn't smell very uh, vinegar forward. But granted, it does not. It does not say vinegar. Can I smell? Yep. Hold on a second. It does not say vinegar as, as a pH control agent, as in a acidic acid, and then a acidifier, which is citric acid. So it doesn't say vinegar. <clears throat> Oh, that smells good. Yeah, it doesn't smell bad at all. I'm looking forward to this one. Where'd we get that? One of the stores, probably the Shaw's or Mark the Basket. This is... Looks kind of like a baby food poop color. A baby <laughs> poop color. <laughs> Actually, it looks yummy. <clears throat> That one doesn't smell that. That other one, the other one we got from them, you could I, all I smelled was vinegar. Well, let's get right to it. So I can't call it vinegar. But there's definitely a vinegar flavor to it. You get the habanero right off. This is this is surprisingly warm. I almost put this warmer than the last. Oop, hiccup. So habanero is number two, and then salt is number th three. You definitely get the salt, and whatever the pH control agent is. Um, I do get the onion, but boy, do you get the salt. It's a very salty sauce. You want to try it just up? Yeah. But you said that's real salty. Very, very salty. Uh, that's a little warm, too, so maybe even you just had to do it. Oh, don't do the whole thing, babe. tasty you get the habanero but you see what i'm talking about when it comes to the salt yep very salty sauce the habanero i get the onion i get the habaneros i get all the flavors that are there i'm getting um this isn't a bad sauce um he wise i'm gonna give i'm gonna put this if you're going to say heat level, you want to do it on three, two, one. I'm going to, okay, three, two, one. Six. Two. Really? My mouth's on fire. Yeah. This is a two. And it made me solid. cry a little, see? Yes. Yeah, you do have a tear. This is a solid two. Almost push. So I'm put, still putting it on the wood scale. Paula's putting it on the firecracker. It's warm. So I'm saying two wuss. You're saying... Uh, Six to two is eight, so if we average it out, <laughs> it'd be a four on the alrighty then. But I mean, it's a warm sauce. Yeah, it's, it's tasty. It's not yeah. bad. No, it's it's actually got good flavor. Yeah, it's got good flavor. My I don't taste issue. a lot of salt though. Oh, see, I'm getting a wicked amount of nope. salt. No. Nope. I mean, I would never buy it because I can't have it. So it would be like that's not fun. Salt. But it doesn't taste bad. I let it sit on the tongue a little longer, chewed it up a little. It's not chunky. I just chew it. It's still salty. I get the habanero in the onion. But there is that, I can't call it vinegar, but I get a vinegar hit to it. Yeah, I don't know. So it's got to be the pH control agent was acidic acid. And the acidifier, citric acid. I'm not getting any type of citrusy flavor. I definitely get the onion. I would like to know what the other spices are. Because it doesn't... I, I wish companies would say that. Okay, if you're going to say spices, put it on the label and say what it is. Yep. 
I'm make you getting, guess. <laughs> I'm getting salt, carbonara, and a vinegar flavor. This sauce is better than the last one. It's a warm sauce. Paula says it's a six. I'm giving it a two. So I'm saying a wuss. He's saying a firecracker. Um, Flavor-wise... You ready? Oh, yeah. I'm going to... Okay. Three, two, one. Five. Yep. It's a and I'm definitely a five, like not close to a six. I'm probably... I was kept looking at four, but I'm like, it's not really below par. It's just I would, one, never buy it again. It's not a bad taste. It's a run-of-the-mill yep. table sauce. The Very warm. Sits, though, I'm getting a pepper flavor, too. Like a black pepper. I just noticed that. So it's talking... A little air kept coming in there. I'm getting a black pepper flavor. Yeah. It's, like I said, it's so not that bad. So the other spices. No, no, it's not a bad sauce. We both gave it a five, which is a run of the mill. Low yep. run of the mill sauce. Um, not bad. Um, I wouldn't purchase it again, but I recommend I recommend any sauce to anybody. Yeah. Um, now, if I went to a restaurant and that's all they had on their table, yeah, I'd use it. Um, but yeah, it's not a bad sauce. It's a run of the mill, like we said. You know, you give it a six for heat, I give it a two. We both gave it a five for flavor. And a five is a fair grade. I would not purchase again, like Paula said, she wouldn't. But if it was on a table and that's all they had, I'd eat it again. Right. But it's going to kick. I'm, I'm actually My impressed. lips are like this. I'm actually impressed with the heat off that, just being a Harbonero. But Harbonero is number two on the list. Right. So, um, yeah. So, again, that's the... Um, hot sauce chili habanero from El Yucateco, El Yucateco, um, which is their salsa picante verde green hot sauce. Um, that would be good with, uh, that would actually be good with tacos and burritos, so, or refried beans, something like that. That would mm. be really good with them. That'd actually be good on a uh, an omelet too. Oh yeah. If I'm gonna, you know, if we're gonna put stuff with it, anything Mexican, of course. Um, refried beans, burritos, chimichanga, tacos. yeah, um, a good chicken dip, but uh, a good omelet that would go good on an omelet. Um, yeah, so um, not much else to say on this video, but not a bad sauce. I would say anybody give it a try. Don't go by our grades. We're giving you our, our honest grades. Um, try it. You uh, may like it. Yeah. Anything else to say for you? No, honey. I love you, and just have a great day. I love you too, and remember. Hot sauce never goes out of style. All right, guys, take care of yourselves. Bye!